staff, as a leader, understands the value of teamwork, which he has entrenched since his appointment to lead the critical armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As a group, we are not surprised by the exploits of the Chief of Defense Staff because of his track record, which includes but is not limited to Theater Commander Operation Lafia Dole, where he led the accidency of the military over the Boko Haram terrorist group in 2016 that saw to the recapturing of several local government areas that were hitherto under the control of Boko Haram terrorist group, including the operational headquarters of the Boko Haram terrorists as in Sambisa Forest. General Loki Irabo also served as the commandant of the Training and Doctrine <coughs> Command of the Nigerian Army, where he assisted tremendously in reviewing the training and doctrines of the Nigerian Army. Our special commendation also goes to all heads of various security agencies for putting the country's interest at heart in ensuring that activities of criminal elements are neutralized and we have a country. We are buoyed by the fact that the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has risen above sentiments to give us a country by toiling night and day to ensure that we sleep with our eyes closed. This is remarkable and an indication that tough times await those planning to use the forthcoming general elections to cause unrest in the country. The capacity of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to deal with unscrupulous elements have never been in doubt. The apolitical stance of the armed forces in reassuring it should give Nigerians a cause to celebrate in the protection and preservation of our nascent democracy. As concerned stakeholders in the Nigerian project, our position remains that the armed forces of the Republic Federal Republic of Nigeria have proven to be reliable and well positioned to defend and protect the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria.